Hey YouTube, Copper Sam here. Today we're gonna show you some of the most delicious Dutch breakfast items you can get. A Dutch breakfast would not be complete without bread. Lots of bread. We love bread. We yeah. eat bread twice a day. And of course, breakfast without bread is not real breakfast. It's not done. It's not done. It's not how yeah. you do it. It's no. a breakfast, I would it's say. It's a breakfast. A bread feast. A bread feast. Bread feast. Let's go. So, to introduce you to one of the things that I really like. Back in the day, we used to put the actual cookies on our bread. But they made uh, schuddebuikjes, which is uh, shaky bellies. Shaky bellies. <laughs> it doesn't translate that well in English. It doesn't translate that well, no. no. It, it, it sounds kind of cute in Dutch. It's made of uh, speculaas, which is sort of a, a, a ginger, ginger spicy. Uh, cinnamon spiced biscuit. Yeah. So they're basically sprinkles. You just sprinkle them on your bread and you're good to go. Maybe some butters to make sure they stick. So, and in case you're like, wow, this sounds amazing, but you know, I gotta chew. Who likes to chew? No one likes to chew. So, the Dutch were like, you know what we can also do? We're gonna invent a spreadable cookie spread. Yeah. So it's the same, <laughs> it's the same type as of this cookie, for the actual cookie. But it's spreadable. But it's spreadable, like peanut butter for instance. It's like, it, it looks like peanut butter, but it's it just, it's actual just cookies. You can literally hear the crunch. There's pieces of cookies as well. Actually delicious. Yeah, and it's so good, guys. I think it's uh, almost pure sugar. <laughs> it's so Probably. So that's the thing, we Dutch people are really sweet tooth. We're, like, we're, we're super having... sweet tooth, yeah. yeah. So everything contains a lot of sugar. Yes, <laughs> basically. Uh, basically everything past this line is almost pure sugar. So if you're not a cookie monster, but you like chocolate... We also invented the chocolate, chocolate sprinkles. sprinkles. Well, we didn't, but... Yes, I'm the person who invented <laughs> this uh, chocolate sprinkles. Uh, that's all me, that's all me, no. Okay. And these go great on everything. I mean, we have like, we have white bread, we have brown bread, we have tiger bread, which has uh, tiger skin, very, very... Yeah, very... Delicious yeah. though. It's very good. Our Dutch bread is actually very light. We lived in Germany for a while, and the bread we had there, and I'm sorry if you're from Germany, you're watching this, uh, was a bit like a brick. Like, it, was, it was either yeah, very it's... fluffy American light toast, or it was bricks. There was no in between. It was very heavy. And Dutch bread is very light. It's very airy. Very Like nice. you can have 20 <laughs> slices of this. And in well, Germany, you have, you have yeah. one slice and you're like, okay, I'm done. This is like, it felt like a thousand calories, you know? And this is like, oh, you can just eat, keep eating it forever. I guess the German are quite efficient in that sense. They're quite efficient. Yeah, they're quite efficient. But in case you're like, you know what? Chocolate is nice, but... Uh, I like sprinkles. I like sprinkles, but, but not chocolate. Else. Yeah. Then there is this one. So this one is the fruit heel, the vruchtenhagel. This one is the vrokken and the chocolate sprinkles. It says uh, yeah, sugar heel with uh, concentrated apple juice. I'm not sure where the apple juice is, but okay. I really liked this as a kid, but after you read the description, I'm like... For every 100 grams in here, it's 93% gram of 93% sugar. Whoa. So literally, it's literally pure sugar with, with food coloring. Yeah, sweet tooth. And, I tell you, sweet tooth. Rich people. It's literally just sugar. It's literally, speaking of though, speaking of just sugar, this is some of the most delicious Dutch exclusive items you can buy in it's, the Netherlands. Um, it's so exclusive, it doesn't even have an English translation. No, it doesn't. So for English people, it... For all you foreigners... <laughs> It could be, no, 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 but what is it called? Marmalade? Marmalade. Marmalade. It's, it's not the same thing. It's very, very different. But at least the consistency might be the consistency similar. Is so, it's somewhere, the consistency is somewhere between marmalade and maple syrup. Yeah, that's what I was going to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. So it's, it's somewhere in between there. Uh, it's but it's pure like sugar. honey. It's glucose. It's yeah. just pure sugar. Yeah. It's like honey. It's like honey. I guess yeah. it's more like honey. But then it's more but spreadable. But the taste is different. And it, usually it's a bit more apple flavored as well. Depends if whether this, you have the apple Strope or... Yeah, the, the apple uh, strope or the... It's called strope, by the way. Strope. Strope. Strope, that's how we call it. You can't... I, we, we lived abroad, we couldn't find this anywhere. Except for Dutch stores or in the Netherlands. There is, it's really hard to get. It is super hard so to get. it's so good though. It's so good. You can eat this on anything as well. It's so good. The thing with strope is, is that you gotta have a special technique in order to actually make it stick on your knife. Because if you don't twirl like this, if you don't use the strope technique, TM, then um, you're gonna lose it. We're just gonna... Drop it on there. All right, so on to the last uh, stewery thing that we have for today. And that's this one. This one is some of my personal favorites as a kid. I love this. Coconut bread. Coconut. Co 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 cocos. Co coconut co bread. Coconut bread. It's yeah. basically just a slice of cocos that you put on your bread. You just, you know, nobody need it. Just slap it on there and you're good to go. 
It's freaking delicious. And again, it's made of cocoa, so it's actually a bit more healthy. It's really And good. it's only 40 gram sugar per 100 gram of... Uh, <laughs> this, so it's only, is... it's only 40% sugar. So that... <laughs> this video is translating into a, how much sugar is there in Dutch breakfast uh, items yes. kind of video. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. <laughs> So there's one other thing that Dutch people really like, and that's besides their savory meats. Like we have some chicken that we usually eat or some uh, chicken that come bad. No, there's like herbs oh, in there. this is, uh, yeah, herbs. But we really, really like cheese. We like cheese so Ta much that when we, for example, uh, when we, we just buy blocks of cheese, we don't, we, we actually were lazy. Yeah, we bought so we bought one. the sliced ones. We bought the sliced ones. But but if you're not lazy like us, you actually just buy a whole, uh, you know, just a big block of cheese. And, and you actually, use something called the cheese shaver. Or a kaasgaaf. A kaasgaaf. And cheese, you use the, the cheese Shave, shaper, yeah. shaver, I don't know. And you use that to, uh, yeah, to just get your cheese. To uh, make a small slice of cheese. Or if even more lazy, we also have spreadable, spreadable cheese, cheese, of course, as well. You really like this one, right? I do. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah, I don't. We're not done yet, actually. No, there's more. There's more. Well, there's much more, get, but there's get, get. at least a few more items that we can showcase. And this... This is so good. Wait. It's called... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's called ontbijtkoek, but I, I like to call it paperkoek. It's yeah. uh, it's sort of a cake thingy. Uh, again, pretty sweet, it's, I think. It's it's gingerbread, right? It's kind of like gingerbread. Yeah, Do you gingerbread. remember, like back in the day, but like when you were younger, we actually made these gingerbread houses? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, it's like that. Let's yeah. make one. Let's make let's one. Let's make one, let's make one. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is not how Dutch, <laughs> how Dutch gingerbread houses are made, but we did give it our best. So normally you eat gingerbread together with butter and actually the house would be a lot more stable probably if you used butter as well and maybe took longer than 20 seconds to try to put this together. There's one more thing. There's one more show. thing. This, this is this more is like, like German, German bread. bread. <laughs> this is basically German bread. This is called roge brood. Yeah, it's, it's very compact, lots of fibers. It's, uh, it's very healthy apparently, yeah. uh, but it's not as good as the rest There's of the bread. There's a lot so. of uh, fibers in there. Yeah, yeah. It's really healthy. Usually what we do when we eat this is we either add cheese, of course, or sugar. Sugar. <laughs> to make it more sugar. bearable. Damn. I was, I'm, I'm so happy we didn't call this the most Dutch healthy Dutch food breakfast. <laughs> because, uh, wow, Dutch breakfast it's is very not far very from healthy. healthy. Yeah. Kids love it though. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really sorry if you're hungry right now. I am, so I'm going to eat some more bread if yeah, that's okay. Yeah, let's dive right in. Thank you all so much for watching again and hope to see you next time. See you later. See you later. As always, many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Konik, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Jeff Wang, Pinky Traveler, Terry Kim, Juju, Galaxy Art, Gusus Rodriguez, Verries, Riser Ayu, Dries Sumker, Plux, Zenny, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Simak, Safronex, Lonzo, BG Extremes, Harry Gartner, Ido Hyman, Anwar NHI, Brandon, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Fine Asian Guy, Mr. Potemkin, Flidiot, Beamer WT, Lars Smitch, Edgar, Knife Sue, Chen125, Cloudfix, Sir QQ Morse, and Gummy Bones. If you would like to be mentioned here as well and get early access to new videos, make sure to check out that join button below this video. Thank you so much for watching.